is in, sync, open, yeah. See? Then when I step and push him forward. Now, this movement, as I push him forward, if he goes back and pulls me, steps back and pulls, right? You could just you know, step back and pull, right? The tendency is just to get pulled out. So I need to counterbalance that force. So if Rex is doing, say you're doing ward off, you're into this ward off movement. Right? Okay. Now, as you can see, so going back, going back to the leg, the energy is down here. It is now going to rise up and move to from the lower right to the sort of center or upper left. Go ahead again. Can you see this is rising? So the tendency is A, for the energy to keep going over here, or B, for it to go forward and up and continue out this way. So we want to make sure that neither of those things are going to take us out of our center. The tendency is to when, if I was doing this and Rex were to, say, pull slightly, is to go backward, to counterbalance, right? It's a natural force. He wants to pull me, I want to go back. But then if he were to let me go, if I was going back too far, then um, I would lose my balance. So now watch. As this force is going up, we've got what we call different breaks, things to stop our energy, to help us from going too far. The first is my front leg. As this energy is moving up, the front leg is filling, becoming full, and acting like a brake. My energy is going slightly behind this foot. If I were to do this like this, you could see that now it would be very, this leg could not stop me. It's like if, if to, to see like a baseball, like if you were to watch you know, some great baseball player, when they go to hit, this front leg fills up and becomes very strong. Bam, it's, it's, it stops the forward momentum, so they just don't go blam and go falling down on the ground. Or, or golf swing, same thing, is that this leg creates the place to stop, so, the, so there's, this, there's this very strong uh, uh, snapping energy that happens for the follow through. So in Tai Chi, as this is coming up, this front leg is filling up and becoming firm inside. So as I move forward, this is not passive. This leg is not passive. What it is, is it's active. It's the energy is filling and drawing back up into the center. It's becoming very firm. It's accepting the weight. Then if I want to move forward from this, I, I take all this energy that's, that's gathered in this foot, put it into this qua, and now I'm ready to do something else with it. So, the second thing that's going to stop this from happening is if Rex is pushing, say you're, you're, doing, you're doing a ward off. If you notice this hand, you see? This hand, if I'm putting like five pounds of pull, that hand is, is pressing downward and backward with five pounds. If this is nothing, this is nothing. If this is five, that's five. If this is 50, that's 50. That pressure backward is going to equalize and balance all of this movement. So you see, as he does the movement, once again, that this is like they're moving in opposite directions. 
creating this balance. Good. So we have the physical leg that is stopping us. We have this arm with our intention. Our mind is going, I'm pulling downward, pressing something downward with the same kind of force that I'm moving something forward to keep. This would be very completely out of character of Tai Chi to have something very strong and have nothing going on. Now, very importantly, in the structure of the body, in the deepest internals, we also have the energy moving up and down the spine to counterbalance these movements. Now, just like I said, if I was pushing something down, the energy goes up my spine. When I lift something, the energy drops down into the low back. So in this particular movement, as we do this particular movement, ward off left, as the energy is coming up and out, we need to have a counterbalance down and back. And this is what we call duela. So as this movement is increasing, this is increasing in the back with the same proportion. So if Wex is doing this particular movement, so here's what you can do if you have a partner and it wants to be, since this energy is coming up and over to the left, it's slightly more to the right side, down and back and to the right. So if I pull him, I should feel, be able to feel right in this low back on the right side, energy. Now, Rex is not, he is not fighting backward. You see, if I let go, he's not going to go backward. It's not like he's resisting. He's just adding Dwe La. He's adding internal energy to balance this off. And in this case, since this energy is going up to the left, his counterbalance is down to the right. And you can feel this. <laughs> 